Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com, where we instantly improve the lives for families of critically ill patients in intensive care so that you can make informed decisions, have peace of mind, real power, real control, and so that you can influence decision-making fast, even if you're not a doctor or a nurse in intensive care. This is another episode of Your Questions Answered, and in last week's episode, I answered another question from one of our readers, and the question last week was, my mom is critically ill in ICU, extubated today, but seems to be exhausted. Is there a high chance my mom will be re-intubated? You can check out last week's question by clicking on the link below this video. In today's episode of Your Questions Answered, I want to answer the next questions from one of my clients, Julie, as part of my one-on-one -on -one consulting and advocacy service. Julie's mom is critically ill in the ICU with sepsis, extubated, but is struggling to breathe. She's asking if she could take the risk of pushing her mum for another 24 hours of, of BiPAP to prevent re-intubation. So today's question is, my mum is critically ill in ICU and extubated. Should I take the risk of pushing my mum for another 24 hours of BiPAP to avoid re-intubation? And for the records, re-intubation means the reinsertion of a breathing tube into somebody's throat for mechanical ventilation, often followed or preceded by an induced coma. So go down and scroll below this video where you can read today's one-on-one -on -one consulting and advocacy session with me and Julie. And if you are watching this on YouTube, just click on the link below this video. That will get you to our website where you can read today's one-on-one -on -one consulting and advocacy session with me and Julie. So, how can you become the best advocate for your critically ill loved one. How can you make informed decisions, get peace of mind, control, power, and influence quickly whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care? You will get to that all important feeling of making informed decisions, get peace of mind, control, power, and influence when you download your free instant impact report now by entering your email below. In your free instant impact report, you will learn quickly how to make informed decisions, get peace of mind, real power and real control, and how you can influence decision-making fast whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care. Your free instant impact report gives you in-depth insight that you must know whilst your loved one is critically ill or is even dying in intensive care. Sign up and download your free instant impact report now by entering your email below. In your free instant impact report, you will learn how to speak the secret intensive care language so that the doctors and the nurses know straight away that you are an insider and that you know and understand what's really happening in intensive care. In your free report, you will also discover how to ask the doctors and the nurses the right questions, to discover the many competing interests in intensive care, and how your critically ill loved one's treatment may depend on those competing interests. How to eliminate fear, frustration, stress, struggle, and vulnerability, even if your loved one is dying. You will get five mind-blowing tips and strategies helping you to get on the right path to making informed decisions get peace of mind, control, power, and influence in your situation. You will get real-world examples that you can easily adapt to your and your critically ill loved one situation. How to stop being intimidated by the intensive care team and how you will be seen as equals. You will get crucial behind-the-scenes insight so that you know and understand what's really happening in intensive care and how you need to manage doctors and nurses in intensive care, and it's not what you think. Thank you for tuning into this week's Your Questions Answered episode, and I'll see you again next week in another update. Make sure you also have a look at our blog section for more tips and strategies, or simply send me an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com with your questions. Also, have a look at our membership site, intensivecaresupport.org, for families of critically ill patients in intensive care, you can also call me, find phone numbers on the top of the website. Also, have a look at our ebook section 
and you can also get one-on-one -on -one consulting and advocacy with me over the phone via Skype and via email by clicking on the relevant tabs on the top of the website. This is Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com and I'll see you again next week in another update.